Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today on Senior Fitness with Meredith. So today's workout, the best go-to standing dumbbell workout, will be working the entire body in this intermediate level workout. What you will need is some space to do your movements. Have a pair of dumbbells, whatever suits you best, or if you have multiples, have those readily available. We also will be using a chair or the wall. I'd like you to have that close by to hold on to in case your balance is a little unsteady at any point during the workout, but also we'll be doing some push-ups on either the chair or the wall at the end of the workout. And again, like I said, it's always good to have something to hold on to just to steady yourself and just in case. So getting everything together as well as your water, having that close by, once you get it together, meet me back here and we'll get started. We are ready to get started with our standing full body dumbbell workout. So we're gonna start with a nice warm up so those dumbbells can stay off to the side for now. So let's start with a nice march just to get the body nice and warmed up. Keeping those abdominals pulled in tight, lengthen the spine, shoulders relaxed and down. We're staying nice and proud through the upper body. <sighs> Legs are marching, big deep inhale, bringing those arms up and around if that's available. Exhale, <sighs> release it. One more time, big deep inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Just slowly bringing those knees up a little bit higher, pumping those arms a little bit more. We're gonna do taps to the front, alternating right, left. Both arms are gonna press to the front. So we tap and press, exhale and inhale. Warming up the front of the body. Let's do three more each side. Three, two, one more right and left and come back up nice and tall. Taps again, out to our sides, alternate right and left, both arms pressing out. Let's go now. Exhale and inhale. Keeping that slight bend in your knee joints, keeping your abdominals pulled in tight. Three, two, one more each side, back up nice and tall, march it out. Taps are gonna go behind us. Again, we're alternating right and left with those kickbacks with the upper body, chest slightly forward, right, left, tap, kick back. Getting the back body nice and warmed up. Three more each side, three, two, one more, right and left, back up nice and tall, marching it out. Side steps next, we're just gonna swing those arms open and close. So we're just gonna go side to side, just loosening everything up now. Breathe into it. Let's just do two more, side to side. Last one. And then we'll do a little shake out of everything. Now it's time to grab our dumbbells. So carefully, if they're on the floor, carefully picking them up. Just making sure you're sitting down. It's always nice to put them on an elevated surface. So if you have your couch, coffee table, bed, wherever you are a chair, putting them on there so you don't have to keep bending down to put them on the ground. So now that you have your two dumbbells, we're going to start with alternating knee raises. So those dumbbells, I want you to just put them right in the front of the body. So this workout, we're not doing any squats, no lunges. In order to work those same parts of the body, we're doing our knee raises. So alternating right and left. Again, if you need to hold on to something, dumbbells go down, you hold on to countertop, wall, or chair. All right, right and left, slight bend in those knees, core tight, stay nice, tall, and lifted. Bring that right knee up, release it down, left knee up. Release it down. Slow and controlled. You want you to feel from the ball of your foot to your heel, each time that foot lands on the ground before you place all of your weight on it and lift the other foot up off the ground. 
Focus on form, safety control. Three, three, two, two, one more each side. And release left foot down. Feet are about shoulder distance apart, putting that slight bend in your knee joints. I want you to feel from the ball of your foot to your heel. Weights are in front of you, focusing now on back of the lower body, our hamstrings. Keep the length in your spine so we're not curving and bringing those shoulders forward. Nice and open through the chest, lengthen the spine. Chest is gonna go forward. Weights go to about knee level. Focus on your hamstrings to lift you back up nice and tall. Chest forward on our deadlift, up nice and tall. Should not be feeling the lower back doing all of the work to lift the body back up. Feeling the back of the legs. That's why we keep that length in our spine the entire time. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, nice and tall. Keeping that slight bend in the knee joints. Three more. Two more. Last one, and back up nice and tall. Little shake out of those legs. Let's give the lower body a little bit of a break and we go to upper body. So our back pulls are next. So again, that nice stable stance, shoulder distance apart, equal pressure. Chest is gonna go slightly forward. We're keeping that length in our spine. Bring those weights up to the chest, squeeze your upper back, release back long. Squeeze upper back, shoulder blades coming together. Open back out. Exhale, inhale. Focus on the upper back, slow and controlled in both directions, lifting and lowering the dumbbells. Three more. Two more. Last one. Weights are nice and long. Stand up nice and tall. Down by our side, our press backs. Palms facing behind you, small movement. Little press back. Come back to center. Feel as if you're over-exaggerating, open through, opening through the shoulders and chest. So you'll feel the shoulder blades squeeze together, feeling the back of your arms, your triceps working as well. Three more, two, last one. One more thing for upper body, alternating our bicep curls. So good stance with lower body, palms facing towards me now, elbows nice and close to the side of the body. Again, we're alternating right and left. Put that slight bend in those knee joints. Curl right, release it down. Curl left, release. Abdominals nice. And tight, lengthen that spine, nice and proud through the upper body. Don't lose posture form and don't lock out those knee joints. Micro bend in them entire time. Leading from the bicep, that's why we wanna keep those elbows nice and close to the side of the body. So we're making the bicep do the work, front of the arm. Three more each side. Two more, one more each side. Exhale, right and left. Releasing those weights down by our side. If they get to be a lot for the upper body, you can always put them down. Our next movement, we're not utilizing them so much. We're focusing on our hamstrings with a hamstring curl. So we're gonna alternate bringing the foot up behind us, flexing our foot. So our right foot comes up behind us. We release it down, left foot up. Release. So again, focusing on your form, focusing on what you're working. And as you flex the foot, that engages that hamstring, the back of the leg. Use that part of the body to lift the foot up behind you. That 
that mind muscle connection really focus on what you're working let's do three more each side three three two one more right and left releasing that left foot down feet are shoulder distance apart let's do a set of heel raises again if these are too much for your balance put either one or both dumbbells down holding onto something safety first slight bend in the knees crown of the head right up to the sky as we go high on the balls of the feet release high up release Really getting into the lower part of the legs, those calf muscles, strengthening through the ankle joints, strengthening through our feet. Just three more. Three, two, last one. Little shake out back to upper body, couple more movements with both of our dumbbells. We're gonna alternate our side raises. So putting that slight bend in your elbow joints, so not staying nice and long, put that slight bend, makes you focus on leading from the top of the shoulder, not the hand, not the elbow. Shoulders doing the work, we're not swinging, slow controlled, right side goes out, no higher than shoulder level, gently release. Left goes out, Gently release. Exhale, inhale. Again, focus on the shoulder to do the range of motion. It doesn't have to go as high as shoulder level. It can go a slight ways out and then slowly release. All depends on your range of motion, what feels best for your body. Three more on each side. Two more. Last one right. And left. And little shake out of those arms. Couple more things with both these dumbbells. Turn your palms to face up towards the sky. Glue those elbows into the side of the body. Focusing on rotator cuffs. We open out, we come center. You might feel into your biceps because we're keeping that muscle contracted the entire time with how we're holding our dumbbells. But we're focusing with that range of motion on our rotator cuffs, deep inside those shoulders. Three, two, last one. Weights down by our side, side bend. So the closer your feet are together, more of a balance challenge. You want to keep the length in your spine, bend down to right, come up center, left, center. So not bowing, so chest stays proud towards me. Working our obliques, our lower back, range of motion in our spine. Two more each side. Last one, right, center, left. Now you can release one of your dumbbells down or give your hands a break and upper body a break. You can put them both down. A little shake out of those fingers for a second. Grab water if you need. We're doing movements with a single dumbbell now. So we have two movements on our right side in our first exercise, then two on our left. So first one again, if you have something to hold on to, Always having that close by, because we're going, going to do a front leg raise, and I want you to feel in control of your movements. So, nice straight leg is gonna come up, release down. Body nice and tall, slight bend in that standing knee. Core pulled in tight, slow and controlled. Let's go, right leg straight up, release it. lever making that quadricep really work making those abdominals engage feeling all the weight on that standing leg you'll start to feel that leg fatigue as well three two 
Last one, that right foot goes down. We're gonna keep that dumbbell in our right hand to work the back of our arm, our tricep. So bring that elbow nice and high, extend long, bring it in. Extend back long, bring it in. Keep the elbow lifted the entire time so you're making your tricep the back of your right arm. Do that work right now. Three more. Two. Last one and release it down. Switch it into your left hand. Again, either bringing that chair or having something to hold on to while we do other side. Same thing, dumbbell on that thigh. Slight bend in that right knee joint. Core pulled in tight. Nice straight leg comes up. Release down. Up. Release down. Focus on that quadricep. That's the thigh muscle, big leg muscle. To lift that straight leg up. Release. Keeping that slight bend in the standing knee joint. We want to hyperextend and lock it out. That will only hurt the knee. It will not help your balance. Three more, two more, last one. Release that left foot down. We keep the dumbbell in that left hand, bring the elbow nice and high, chest slightly forward, focus on the back of the arm, the tricep, extend it back, bring it in. No swinging from the shoulder joint or even the elbow joint, slow controlled. Three more, three, two, last one, good job, release. Dumbbell goes back into our right hand, back to lower body, side leg raise. So that dumbbell just lays on the side of that leg, body's nice and tall, slight bend in that standing knee joint, bringing that leg out to the side, leading from your outer thigh, hip, and gluteal. Again, holding on if it becomes too much of a challenge for your balance. You wanna feel what's working, work. Lead from that right heel, not the toes. So you're getting into the side body. Three more, three, two, Last one, good job. Little shake out of that standing leg. It starts to feel it. We're switching to the other side. So now that left leg is doing the work. Body's nice and tall, slight bend in that right knee joint. Just keep the dumbbell on the side of the thigh, going side, center. Again, that string is pulling from your left heel to bring that leg out to the side. So you're getting to your hip, your outer thigh, and your gluteal, not the front of the leg again. Three more, two, last one. Little shake out, good job. Both hands go on our single dumbbell. We're doing a chest press. So feet, nice, good, stable stance, shoulder distance apart, slight bend in the knees, nice and tall, right at chest level. You're gonna press it out at a 45 degree angle like you're placing something on a shelf, bringing it back in towards you. Core tight, don't let that dumbbell pull you forward as you press it out. Three more. Two. Last one, good job. Back to single side with lower body. Holding that dumbbell in your right hand, holding onto something, chest slightly forward. Right leg is gonna go straight back behind you, so make sure there's nothing behind you that you're gonna kick. Nice and long, bring it straight up, release it down. Focusing on leading from your gluteals and lower back to bring that nice long leg behind you. Really squeeze gluteals at the top 
keeping the bend in that standing knee. Three more. Two more. Last one. Little shake out other side. So now the dumbbell, you're just holding it in the left hand if you're choosing to hold it. Chest slightly forward, slight bend. Make sure there's nothing behind you that you're gonna kick. Bring that straight leg back, release. Straight leg back, release. Really squeezing through the gluteals. And that lower back assist and lift. Let's do three more, three, two, last one. Back up nice and tall, little shake out of those legs, bringing those feet back to that nice stable stance, shoulder distance apart, front raise. One more thing with our one dumbbell, slight bend in those knees, keeping that bend in those elbow joints, focusing on front of the shoulder into the chest to do the movement, no higher than shoulder level. So exhale as you bring that dumbbell right in front of your gaze, gently release it down. You can go lower, just no higher than that gaze. And again, that dumbbell's not pulling you forward. Core is staying pulled in, keeping you stabilized, nice, tall, and proud. Let's do three more. Three, two, last one. And release that dumbbell down. Again, it can go onto whatever surface you have. Having that wall or countertop to use now, we're gonna do a couple of core movements and then we'll do that chest movement, which I told you about earlier, our push-ups, which works everything, core included. So I'm gonna use the chair to demonstrate. Of course, you can always use the wall or that countertop that you have. So first thing, we're focusing on those abdominals. So chest is gonna go slightly forward. You put a slight bend in that standing knee, that right leg is gonna go back. You're gonna pull that knee in, let your chest go slightly down, lengthen it, press that leg back, tap the toe. So squeeze the abdominals lengthen them. So think about that crunch that we do, whether we're sitting in our chair or we're on the floor. We crunch everything together, we lengthen, we open it back up. Squeeze, contract, open back up. Let's do three more. Three, two, Last one, little shake out of that standing leg. One more thing on the right side before we do the two movements on left. Now we're just gonna kinda open that hip to the side. If it's available, hand goes behind the head. I want you to feel as if you're trying to bring your elbow to your knee and then lengthen back out. So again, we're really getting in to those obliques, the side of the waist. That same thing, crunch, open up. Contract, squeeze, lengthen out. Three more, three, two, last one, little shake out of that standing leg. Let's do those two on our left side. So again, holding on to something if you choose, lengthen left leg nice and long. Slight bend in that right knee, everything's extended. We squeeze and crunch it together, chest goes forward, lengthen back out. Really feel your abdominals. Contract, squeeze them, release them. Squeeze them, release them. Three more. Three, two, last one. And feet together, little shake out of that standing leg. Now to our left side, side crunch. Again, holding on to something if we need to. Hand behind the head if that's available, or you can always keep it on your shoulder, keep it on your side. Opening that hip out to the side, bringing everything together, lengthen out. That's 
exhale and inhale. Three more. Two. Last one, little shake out. One last thing before we stretch our push up. So again, chair countertop wall, hands about shoulder distance apart, feet are back. Keep the length in the spine the entire time. Allow your chest to go down with an inhale. Exhale, press away. So we're not letting the chest go down and then rolling through the spine. Inhale, exhale, length stays in the spine, pressing from the chest, working entire upper body, keeping those abdominals tight. Three more. Two more. Last one. Great job. Little shake out of everything before we stretch it out. Just shake it out, shake it out. We're going to bring those hands behind our back. Interlace them open through the front body. So keep that nice stable stance even during our stretches. Keep good form. Slight bend in those knees. Release that, interlace in front, round and arch the spine. Opening through the back body, breathe into that. If it's available, bring that length up, just a big stretch through the entire body, inhale, exhale, slowly release down by your side. Stretching lower body, go onto that right heel. Now sitting back, so we bend into that left knee, Hands can go on that left thigh. Great stretch from our calf, hamstring, gluteals into our lower back. Let those right toes go down and just roll it up, switching sides. All of our weights on our right. We bend into that knee, sitting back. That left toe is up as we stay on the heel, flexing that foot, getting that good stretch, entire left side. Bring those left toes down, again, roll it up. Bring those feet next to each other, about shoulder distance apart, our hip hinge. Just a nice stretch through the back of our legs, our gluteals and back. Roll it up, you can get that rounding through the spine. And our three deep inhales and exhales. Inhale, bring that length up overhead. Let's do that two more times, big deep inhale. And exhale, one more time, big deep inhale, length goes up overhead, exhale, release it all out. I am so proud of you for completing that full body intermediate level, the best go-to standing dumbbell workout. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to our next workout together.